Hi, my name is Clifford Baxter, and I'm a former executive at Enron, and I'm back from the grave. Who is Enron? Enron Corporation was an American energy, commodities, and services company based in Houston, Texas. Before its bankruptcy on December 2, 2001, Enron employed about 20,000 staff and was one of the, of the world's major electricity, natural gas, communications, and pulp and paper companies with claimed revenues of nearly $101 billion during 2000. What happened to Enron? Enron wasn't doing so well money-wise, so, so the executives decided to hide all their losses and debts. People thought they were doing so well that they decided to invest in Enron. When people found all their losses and debts, many executives were arrested and they couldn't pay back their, their debts. 2001, Enron filed for bankruptcy. Why was it important? It led to change in recording requirements in public companies, and this act was called the Sabine's Oxley Act, which meant a lot more recording requirements. Companies need more transparency, which means companies need to be more open with their recordings. What happened to those involved? Lane Skilling, which were the founders, went on trial for their part in the Enron scandal in January 2006. The 53-count, 65-page agreement covers a broad range of financial crimes, including bank bank fraud, making false statements to banks and auditors, securities fraud, wire fraud, money laundering, conspiracy, and insider trading. What has the result of the Enron case be been on the accounting industry? Between December 2001 and April 2002, the Senate Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs and the House Committee on Financial Services held multiple hearings about the Enron scandal and related accounting and investor protection issues. These hearings and the corporate scandals that followed Enron led to the passage of the Sabine's Oxley Act on January 30, 2002. Main provisions of the Sabine's Oxley Act include the establishment of the pub Public Company Accounting Oversight Board to develop standards and preparation of audit reports. The restriction of the public accounting companies from providing any non-auditing services when accounting. J. Clifford Baxter, before Enron, I was born in Amityville, New York, and graduated from New York University. After graduating, I served in the U.S. Air Force from 1980 to 1985 and rose to the rank of a captain. After I left the military, I enrolled in Columbia University, where I received an MBA degree two years later. I worked on, in investment banking briefly before I joined Enron in 1991. I had a wife, Carol, two children, a son and a daughter. During Enron, I was a former Enron Corporation executive who resigned in May 2001. I sold $30 million worth of Enron stock months prior to Enron's bankruptcy. I also clashed with CEO Jeffrey Skilling over questionable Enron business practices. My suicide. On January 25th, 2002, I was found dead in my black Mercedes-Benz S500 in Sugarland, Texas, with a gunshot wound through the right side of my head. Ammunition used was a glass 